5 Ways a Personal Loan Can Go Very Wrong Personal loans can be a great way to consolidate your debt or pay for a big home improvement project, but there are a few things to watch out for when you take out a personal loan. First, missing out on a better deal. It's easy to believe that one lender is as good as another, but nothing could be further from the truth. Lenders compete for your business, and it's up to you to find the lender offering the best deal. If you're worried that loan shopping will negatively affect your credit score, there's no reason. The point is this. Whether you have a very high credit score or a not-so-great credit score, the interest rate and terms offered by various lenders differ. If you automatically accept the first lender's offer, you could spend thousands of dollars more than you would have with another lender. Second, borrowing more than necessary. When you take out a loan, it's tempting to fall into the trap of borrowing as much as the lender tells you you're qualified to borrow. One of the fastest ways to make a positive loan experience turn bad is to borrow more than you need. Third, failing to read the fine print. It's in the fine print that you'll discover the details that can impact your life. For example, you'll want to know if there's a prepayment penalty, how much you're paying in origination fees and other tacked on costs, and if credit insurance is available. Once you've decided to take out a personal loan, it's easy to ignore the fine print to get to the good stuff, funding the loan. But if you don't want to regret the loan once the funds are in your bank account, read the fine print first. Fourth, failing to create a budget that works. Before the pandemic hit American shores in 2020, three out of 10 adults had no monthly budget. Now, that number is closer to two out of 10. Unless your monthly budget is accurate, taking out a new loan can be dangerous. It's impossible to plan for every eventuality in life or anticipate all the tiny things that go awry, but building a budget that works means factoring in unexpected expenses. That way, you can always make your loan payment, even when surprise bills pop up. Lastly, sliding back into trouble. One of the best uses for a personal loan is debt consolidation. If you're carrying high interest debt, landing a personal loan with a lower APR can save thousands of dollars. However, if you use a debt consolidation loan to pay off your existing debt, then go out and buy a new car or max out your credit cards, you'll be in worse shape than before you consolidated. Personal loans can be a great financial tool for accomplishing your goal, as long as you remain in control from the time you apply to the day the loan is paid in full.